Welcome back to Blast Guys Rated R Review. For the super action stuff casket of cruelty. This is a set for 112 scale action figures. In this deadly coffin you get 26 plus gruesome accessories. You also get 11 diabolical weapons including boxing gloves, machetes, chainsaws, rod shields and more. And of course we have 15 blood and gore effects. So join me on this review. Let's see what's inside. And try not to get too scared. So as you can see here, here's the front of the packaging. Uh, this is pretty cool. It comes in a, all this stuff comes in a really nice hard casket uh, made of like really hard plastic. Um, so it has saran wrap on it. Here's the side of it. Here's the back of it. And of course the other side, top, bottom. We'll take a look at the casket after we get the plastic wrap off, but to give you an idea of what you're gonna get when you buy yours. So here's what he looks like with all the uh, packaging. Uh, very nice detail for the uh, coffin, as you can see. Decent plastic, nice weathering on the uh, top of the casket. Here's the side of it, it looks pretty cool. It's the bottom. Kind of has a green look to it. Not too bad. Oh, I've got to take the sticker off the bottom. See how hard that is to come off. Which we need to heat that. Or it's a simple piece. Oh, yep. That's going to be a pain. That's going to take some getting that off. But get the idea what the bottoms are like. Once we get that sticky paper off. It's just. They should have put that on the plastic in my opinion. But let's see what we got inside. Ooh, what do we got? This is what the inner lid looks like. Pretty cool. With some paper. Put that to the side. Um, oh, look at this. Got a bottle wax. Pretty nice. Wow. Gold handle. We have this silver with the black inside. Some nice dings in it. And the quality of the plastic is really good. You guys hear that? That's nice and solid. This is decent. I was worried about the quality of the plastic and when I purchased this, but now I'm super happy. These are highly um, quality pieces. So that's good. Nice detail also. All right, let's see what else we got. So I'm just gonna randomly pull stuff out of here. Looks like we have some kind of blood effect. Just as like a sporadic and interesting way of doing the uh, review. We have a blood effect here, which we can utilize however you see fit. Pretty cool. The coloring is pretty good. It's kind of translucent plastic. Um, so the light may catch it. So you can see, pretty cool. like we have the base for the uh, crossbow I believe this is pretty decent look at that no bending that is super hard it doesn't feel brittle either this is a nice grade of plastic for these I'm super excited for these now since I actually have them in hand pretty nice we'll probably have to come back to this once we find the attachment piece Oh, look at this. This is a nice sword piece. This goes on your sword for slashing or your machete, maybe. For your slashing weapons, you can see you slide your weapon through here. We'll take a look at this again when we find the parts to go to it. But that's pretty nice. And again, there's no bending. Look how thick that is. That is really nice. Oh, this is gross on my hair. Look at this. I think this piece right here has <laughs> got some blood. Here we got flesh and organs and meat and whatever it is. Um, <laughs> I think you take your head off your fingers and you put this on your finger and then you put your head on here like he's been decapitated. This is pretty gruesome right here, guys. So if you guys ain't scared of stuff like this, but this is a really cool uh, 
accessory stuff if you want 12 figures if you really get into playability and photography so i mean it's gruesome but it's cool in the same aspect i guess let's see what else our casket has to offer here looks like we have a baton very nicely sculpted I like the handles super um stiff no bending this is going to look fantastic it'll survive playability even for kids in my opinion pretty decent let's dive in again see what we got oh jeez look at this some kind of power saw can you imagine for you characters like Carrick and stuff like that and uh some of your crazier gi joe characters or even your NECA figures some blood on the saw blade it does not turn though there's no that's unfortunate looks like it attaches to something but they keep an eye on that piece too all right let's see what else we got in here so we have another piece that could be it's a larger piece maybe for the i don't know i don't think this is for the head it's kind of too big there's some serious meat chunks in there flesh that kind of sits it has a base Here's a comparison. It's very cool. I guess kind of says where the pig is. There's no like bottom in that one, so. Oh, wow, that's just gross. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, chainsaw. Looks like we have an attachment piece here. Something goes on the chainsaw. Silver boy blood remains stains. Orange body. Like we have another attachment on this one. This is pretty cool too. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, machete. Look at that. Oh, that looks that's blood on it. it. Looks killer. Silver blood. There's the handle with the silver dots on it. Pretty cool. So let's bring in our slashing piece. Does this fit in there? Sure does. So this kind of just fits over top of it, I guess. That's pretty nice. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, we have a sword. It's a clean sword. This is a nice sword. Wow, look at the quality. That's a little flexible. But I'm telling you what, it's, it's straight. That's pretty cool. I guess this is also for this. You could use it for slashing action. Nice effect there. That's pretty nice. I like that blade. It has a purple piece here black um handle and a nice silver blade very nice piece maybe that's like a shredder sword or something <laughs> look at this thing oh my goodness black handle oh, this is like a, a blunt weapon this is to beat people in the mush blood stains wow pretty cool what else we have here? Oh, look at this wild piece. Wow, this is huge. Flat on the bottom. Very cool. That kind of just like sits. <laughs> wow. That makes me thrown up or something. He's throwing up blood. Wow, that's gross. What the materials on it is super cool. Oh, look at this, guys. Wow, this is awesome. My very first 112 scale rod shield. A bunch of the rod troopers from G.I. Joe, you don't need scale or shock troopers. And we've not gotten any rod shells from classified or action force yet. So this would be my first and the only way to get one. And I'm telling you what, this plastic, nice. Clear translucent black handles are nice, firm, no issues. Silver paint there, pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, a nail gun, the orange on it, silver. This is like a translucent bluish tint. Handles painted. Wow, that's cr that's crazy. 
have a very small blood effect. It's pretty cool. We got a boxing glove. It's red, white, and I guess some kind of logo on there. That's pretty cool. And uh, it looks like you'd have to remove the hand is of your figures and uh, put these on. Maybe a good custom for Big Boa for G.I. Joe Cobra figure. Okay, here we got a blood effect with some meat, flesh, grossness. Are we love this grossness yet, or are we just getting appalled by it? <laughs> we start coming numb to it once you see so many of them. Let's see what we pull out next. Oh, here we go. Maybe we have the body of the chainsaw. Matches the orange. We have the handle, silver. There's a gunmetal handle on this side. That makes sense. Um, let's see here what we can do with this. Oh yeah, there's a there's a hole right there. So it looks like this goes on here. And then we have a full chainsaw. Wow, that is killer. Super awesome. I like it. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can take this back off. Uh, stays pretty good. And maybe we can... This is what they're going for, maybe? Like a saw? Yeah. Look at that. Some dismemberment right there, boys. Uh, doesn't move at all, but that's okay. That's, that's just menacing. We're also going to get something like this. If you're into this kind of photography or whatever you want to do, that's pretty sick right there. Taking in, we got some more just paper. A lot of little stuff in there now. We have this piece. Oh, I know what this is. This is for the crossbow. And then I'll tell you what, look at this. And then that is very pliable. It's not, it's flexible just perfectly to where you, um, not gonna warp it or break it, I think, in my opinion, of course. But uh maybe it goes under the bottom. It's hard to see through the camera. Let me figure it out. Yeah, it just slides right on. Very cool. Crossbow. Alright, well, let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got the other boxing glove. Same glove, oops, same glove, same uh, white paint with the actual um, little uh, logo there on the glove piece. So let's see if we can get these on the right side. This is how this looks as a set. Pretty nice. Like I said, they're pretty hard. So they're not soft at all. Diving back in. I'm going to put them on the growers. Oop. So likely that, huh? This is a casket of cruelty. I've done a blood splatter piece. So I got some kind of like a little slice there. Maybe it's for you know, your bladed weapons. Oops, my bad. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's rough. Pretty cool, though. Oh, we have like a shot maybe so here's the base of that um yeah it's like maybe I guess if you shoot somebody you could use this as a like he's been shot that's pretty cool some more blood effects different uh angles and uh sculpt pretty decent take him back in uh, we have oh, some serious meat chunks here. Oh, that's pretty gross. Looks like we have a little bit of bone. Splatter. Pretty gross. Diving in. Uh, another blood splatter. Got okay, here. Looks like we got brains. Ugh. That's gross. Pretty well painted and textured, man. That's pretty sick. 
So what else we got here? We have an arrow. With the blood tip on it. That's not removable. Green for our crossbows. What else is in here? Oh, we got a full arrow here. That one's like it was broken off then. Green and black. Very cool looking. Comparison. I was looking at this, it doesn't look like the arrow attaches at all. So that's, uh, that's I'm missing something. Maybe it sits in there. Maybe we can set it in there like that. But that's really the only way you can attach it. And there's no string, unfortunately. You can always add the string if you like. Let's see what else we got. Another blood effect. Stand. It can stand on its own. Very cool. Let's see what else we got in here. A very small effect. So there appears to be only two more pieces in there. Can you guys guess what they are? I'll give you a clue. They're body parts. And they're very small. So I'm going to try and grab them. Uh, with one. And we'll do them together because they come in a pair. Can you guys what they are now? High paws. <laughs> Rip out somebody's eyeball. I mean, like you guys obviously kill Bill. You can recreate that effect now. If you have any Kill Bill figures or... Whatever you want to do, she ripped her eye out, and smashed between her toes. Pretty, pretty gruesome, guys. Pretty gruesome. So here's inside a casket. Like a little piece of maybe from the sprues, maybe. Pretty cool. And if you're wondering, do they fit figures? There's a boy Carrick. Let's see here. Yes, he'll fit in there. Wherever I have to get him situated, obviously. But that's how he would look in the casket. If you want to murder Carrick. Or, let's see who else we got we can do a comparison with. Let's try one of the female characters from Action Force. No doubt, way way easier to put her in there. Pretty cool. Let's got a couple Joes. We have the smaller um, figure of Snake Eyes here. See if I can get him to fit. And he should fit, no problem. Yep. Can get him in there. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Definitely can fine tune it. And hypothetically, here's the sword. She's one of the taller ones. You know, in case Serpentor actually won the battle when that big fight scene on Arise, Serpentor Arise. Look at that. Even big old Sergeant Sword fits perfectly in there. So this is a nice piece to have for dioramas for your 1126 scale figures you have a variety of stuff i think it's an overall kind of look of what you would actually need for space reasons and i'm telling you if, if you have the sarge you know how big the sarge is so i think sergeant slaughter and some pentor are um the two tallest of the figures and they fit and they still got a, a decent amount of headroom for you know some flexibility so if you get beyond the the Sarge and Slaughter, you're getting more into the seven inch. It's not going to fit uh, figures. And it takes you, really actually takes you out of the scale, in my opinion, once you go from uh, past the 6.5 inch uh, scale, you're going to get into maybe, you know, a different scale. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, this is a really cool set. Um, I think these retail for like, like I got mine for like $34.99. You get a bunch of unique pieces you're not going to get anywhere else. I was on a fence. I've seen it before. The casket is something I really wanted. Um, I'm kind of don't want to spoil anything, but in the future, I may do something with it on a video. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. You're going to see these pieces throughout my videos, throughout other things. So uh, subscribe so you don't miss it. Yeah, see what I can come up with. And um Hope you guys liked the review, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in our next review.